Hey, what's going on? It's Caucasian Mark, the whitest dude on the entire freaking internet. Today we're talking about exceptions, the second lovely part of exceptions. When you're talking about throw, throws, making your own exception class. Might even give you tips on how to do other awesome things in life, but for right now, let's just focus on exceptions. So say you're in a situation where, uh, like the last video, we have the array out of bounds exception. Say you're not even dealing with arrays. Say you want to make your own very, very, very specific like exception class. That's totally doable in Java. It's pretty cool. I'm going to show you kind of a basic, small, microscopic scale of how to do that. There's more stuff you could do later on, but I just want to get your uh, you know, feet wet, I guess, as they say. And so what you're going to do is you're going to make a class just like any other living class in the world. And you're going to name it whatever you want to. Mine is does not like math. Uh, that's just kind of the fun, silly, quirky name I gave it. And at the end, you want to give it exception. Because when you have your package, you're working in a team, you, you want to know what your exception classes are. Um, or if you're developing the exception class and then you, you know, save it, you're done, you, you pass it on to the next person, uh, you don't want any confusion about what is the exception class because it might get confused with something else. I've belabored the point, whatever. So then we have extends. Extends, not like the pills that makes a certain part of your body bigger, but we're gonna be extending the exception class. There's no way around it. That's just how life works. So we're gonna come down, make a constructor of this class up here, does not like math exception. We're gonna type super, and this math sucks is gonna be the message that's gonna be printed out when this exception occurs. So um, we're going to come back in here and let's check out how to use the keywords throw and throws and how they work in the grand scheme of this thing called life. So we're going to have static void do math. Let's give it a, uh, an argument you got to give it because we're going to be checking something. We're going to give it an integer of some number. And then we're going to come up in here. We're going to do throws does not like math exception. Son of a bitch. All right, there we go. Does not like math exception. Now, if we wanted to have another exception class, I'm just going to nip this in the butt right away. We could do another exception. And then we could do another, another exception. If we wanted to, we could chain them together. It's giving me errors there because I've not made them. And so what we're saying is this do math method throws it does not like math exception. Now, is it gonna throw the exception every single time? Well, it depends on how you use the method, right? So we could even have, uh, if we look out in the real, real world and we're driving a car, it says, may run over pedestrian exception, right? So we could be driving and we could be trying to catch Pokemon or look at pictures of totally hot babes that want to have meaningful conversations with us. And we could fly off the road and kill a bunch of people. Uh, in that case, the method of you driving would throw a, you know, kills pedestrian exception or uh, I'm going to jail exception, right? Just to be kind of comical about it. So. If we're gonna come down here and actually utilize this, let's do if, I always wanna do a space there, I don't know why, it's a weird tick of mine. If some number is greater than zero, I know it says do math, but just work with me here. Let's just do everything is okay, no, exception. If we do an else, the number is going to be less than uh, zero or less than equal to zero. We're going to do a throw new does, I fucking hate typing this out. Beautiful. So everything's going to be good as long as it's above zero and not equal to zero. Everything is okay. No exceptions can be thrown. You can see that denoted here. Else, if it's not the case, we're going to throw does not like math exception. Everyone's going to cry. 
Um, it's going to be all over CNN, and uh, it's going to be a horrible, horrible, horrible time. So if we're going to be using this method, we're going to want to put it in a try-catch block. So if we down here, if we below it, down here have, let's say, int, we'll say x equals 10, right? We're going to come down here and do practice do math x. x is here, the compiler or the our IDE puts the x right there. And then we're going to catch the does not like math exception e right there e print oh it's because i gotta have this at the end beautiful so we're gonna run this everything is okay no exception because it passes the test it's greater than zero it does the uh Looks up here, everything's fulfilled for the if statement, doesn't have to look at the else, and everything is, is kosher, lovely, and sexy. But if we change um, x from 10 to 0, we're going to run this again. And then we're going <laughs> to see that uh, practice, uh, which is the um, stack method here, does not like math exception. This math sucks. Remember, we went over here, this math sucks. So when we print out the stack trace, it's going to print out the exception and whatever information we give with it here. And then it's going to go and tell us, because the compiler is beautiful, where we had those errors at. And they're at lines 19 and 29. So if we go to 29 here, we can see that this is where it fails. And if we look up to 19 right here, it's being thrown here. So we could see kind of the order and how things occur, which is really nice as well. So that is uh, how you use throw, throws, and make your own exception class. Throws is always going to be, and before we go on, throws is always going to be in the method signature. This whole thing up here is the signature. You cannot switch throw and throws around. That's just not how the universe works. If it was up to me, I would just use a different keyword throws or reserved word or somehow just make them both the term throw so that way people don't screw this up. But I didn't write the rules. So we have throws, does not like math exception. And when you actually go do use it inside of the method body, you know, inside there, you'd have to type throw new, so we're making a new instance of it, does not like math exception. And then anything you write in this class here will be ran and taken care of. In this case, this math sucks, which is what we typed here. And exceptions are a little tricky up front. It took me a little while to kind of understand them and work with them. I hope this video uh, tutorial has been useful. Like, share, subscribe, contribute. Comment, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in your nose, thumbs in your butt, whatever it may be. I'll see you in the next Rockin' Bitchin' video. And take care.